Shemot, Exodus 23. You shall not raise a false report. Put not your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. You shall not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall you speak in a cause to decline after many, to pervert judgment. Neither shall you countenance a poor man in his cause. If you meet your enemy's ox or his ass go astray, you shall surely bring it back to him again. If you see the ass of him that hates you lying under his burden and would forbear to help him, you shall surely help with him. You shall not pervert the judgment of your poor in his cause. Keep far from a false matter, and the innocent and righteous slay you not, for I will not justify the wicked. And you shall take no gift, for the gift blinds the wise and perverts the words of the righteous. Also, you shall not oppress a stranger, for ye know at to the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. And six years you shall sow at your land, and shall gather in at the fruits thereof. But the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie still, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beasts of the field shall eat. In like manner you shall deal with your vineyard and with your olive yard. Six days you shall do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your ass may eat, rather may rest, and the son of your handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all things that I have said unto you, be guarded, and make no mention of the name of other Elohim, neither let it be heard out of your mouth. Three times you shall keep a feast unto me in the year. You shall guard at the feast of matzah. You shall eat matzah seven days, as I commanded you, in the time appointed of the month of Eve. For in it you came out from Mitzrayim, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of Shavuot, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the Feast of Kukoth, which is in the end of the year, when you have gathered in at your labors out of the field. Three times in the year, all your males shall appear before Adonai Yahuwah. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with chametz, Neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring into the house of Yahuwah, Eloheka. You shall not see the kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if you shall indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, 
then I will be at an enemy unto your enemies, and at an adversary unto your adversaries. For my angel shall go before you and bring you in unto the Amarim and the Chitim and the Parazim and the Kanaanim and the Chivrim and the Yavasim and I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their Elohim nor serve them nor do after their works but you shall utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images and ye shall serve at Yahuwah Elohekem and he shall bless at your bread and at your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast your, rather, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in your land. At the number of your days I will fulfill. I will send at my fear before you, and will destroy at all the people to whom you shall come, and I will make at all your enemies turn their backs unto you. And I will send at hornets before you, which shall drive out at the Shevi, at the Kenaini, and at the Chiti from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beast of the field multiply against you. By little and little I will drive them out from before you, until you be increased and inherit at the land. And I will set at your bounds from the Red Sea, even unto the sea of the Peleshitim, and from the desert unto the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, et, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall cut no covenant with them, nor with their Elohim. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve at their Elohim, it will surely be a snare unto you.